Hey, it's Mike here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a video called 10 ChatGPT Life Hacks That'll Change Your Life from a channel called Haley's Hales World. Uh, she's over 1.49 million subscribers. This video has over a million views on it and 42,000 likes, so I had to take a look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a like. If you can like my video as well, it really helps out on my YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's go and see. I'm I'm just going crazy over ChatGPT. If you guys have been watching my videos lately, you'll see that I've been watching a lot of AI. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Guys, I have been mind blown by ChatGPT. Me too. It is the best AI I've ever used and it's already changing the world by writing books that are being sold on Amazon, creating super popular tweets for influencers, and even writing and passing university exams. That's the thing about like school stuff. Can you imagine if you were back in high school or college and you had ChatGPT? Like there's gonna be a lot of cheating going on. Kids, don't use this for evil. So I decided to push it to the limits and find the top 10 best things you can do with it that'll change your life. That's the thing though, like finding ways to actually make this useful because it's so powerful, but it's you need to put the right kind of prompts into it to make it actually like give you stuff that you can use. So to get started, open your browser and head on over. I really like your editing. It's very colorful. Like it's really well put together. I can see why she has almost 1.5 million subscribers. Head to chat.openai.com. It'll ask you to sign up. So just pop in your details and then you're pretty much good to go. It's free by the way, but there is a paid version, a plus version. You don't have to get it if you're not a power user. And one of the first powerful things you've got to do with it is ask it to summarize things. Like if you have a web link to a super long article that you don't necessarily want to spend your time reading, you can go ahead, copy that link, then hop into ChatGPT and actually ask it to summarize this article for you in one sentence, then just paste the link and watch the magic happen as ChatGPT does an incredible job at summarizing what would have been a fairly long article to read into a couple of sentences that you can read in seconds. I've had it actually write me a uh, promotional email from just putting a link to a sales page into it. That was pretty cool. But what really blew my mind is you can ask it to summarize YouTube videos and this is really useful especially when the videos are long like this podcast which was an hour and 12 minutes mm -hmm. all you do is select the link hit that copy button and once again in ChatGPT, ask it to summarize this video i love how she writes please in there, like being very polite to it. I wonder how long people are gonna be polite with this. Then paste the link, but importantly, head on back to the YouTube video and also copy the title, then paste that title just below the link. I'm not gonna lie, without using the title, you can sometimes get some mixed results, but once- I wonder why they need the title. Again, instantly, it gives you a summary of what was actually in the video without having to spend an hour and 12 minutes. But where things get really crazy is it can summarize hundreds of pages in seconds. So again, instead of spending hours of reading through files or documents, you can literally just copy the pages of text, then go into ChatGPT and type out TLDR, too long, didn't read. Interesting, I didn't know this. Then just ask it to summarize in two sweet sentences for you, paste all those pages of text, and watch as this bad boy spits out the quickest summary you've ever seen. And what's crazy is just how fast it can do it. Is this just gonna make people's attention spans even shorter? Like we've already been ruined by things like Instagram stories and Snapchat. Like what's this gonna do to us? Another thing you can do is if you're on your phone with the same web link, you can ask ChatGPT to summarize or explain something that went on in the news or old history and it'll make it so much quicker and easier to understand but that is just it's gonna be great for learning like think about that if you're in high school or whatever and you're trying to or college and you're trying to learn something and you just don't understand it this is gonna be really helpful like more more helpful than just like googling something the start there is so much more you can do with it like it can teach you pretty much anything if, if it's gonna teach you i mean it's gonna be better than teachers now let's say you wanted to learn something really quickly. Well, instead of searching through Google or going through manuals, you can ask ChatGPT to teach you whatever it is you want. And amazingly, it actually gives you a really detailed guide and step-by-step -step on how to get started. It told I wonder where it's getting that information from. Like, where, where, how does it know this? Me the chord, what fret, and even what string I needed to put my finger on to get started with playing guitar. And from what I tested, it also does a really good job at teaching you different languages mm -hmm. and even certain software like for Photoshop. And remember, what's totally wild is this is all for free. And what's also so crazy is if you're stuck on a project or some super annoying math homework, you can mm -hmm. just put it into ChatGPT and ask it to solve it for you. I wonder if Google would solve that for you as well, though. I mean, that might be something that would be the same with both Google and ChatGPT. Honestly, I wish I had this when I was back in school because it yeah. explains everything you need to know. 
convenient. You know, you wouldn't have to wait till the next day to go to your class and ask a teacher. You could just ask this. And after all that, you can still then ask it to check your project or even grade your homework Ooh, for you. Look at that. So for example, you could ask it to grade your paper out of 100 and the bam, not only does it grade your homework or project, but it even gives you a reason as to why it gave that. So I wonder if teachers are going to start using this kind of software to grade things for them. Like it's going to make it so they don't have to spend as much time grading. I mean, you can turn ChatGPT into TeachGPT, but you can also turn it into DocGPT. Hmm, what's, what's this? Okay, so of course, ChatGPT is not a real doctor, but it can help you get really healthy and this seriously blew my mind. So let's just say you want to get fit, healthy, gain some muscle and maybe lose some weight. You can ask it for a detailed exercise plan and honestly, it gives some great advice and an amazing plan to follow. And if this isn't detailed enough for you, remember, you can ask it to get even more specific. That's pretty cool. We can take this one step further and ask ChatGPT to make a weekly meal plan for you with a calorie allowance and look at how detailed it can get. I mean, that's stuff that you'd have to have like a software do before. For. And this, this will do it for you. You can then ask it to take that meal plan and break it down into a freaking shopping list for you. And what mm. really blew my mind is how it categorized all the different ingredients. That's pretty life changing. What you can also ask it to do is come up with a great recipe for you based on what couple food items you have at home. I mean, at what point, when are we going to get to the point where like we're like the Jetsons and we're just going to be able to have these things cook as dinner? So for example, if you only have a couple ingredients laying around, you can ask ChatGPT mm, what you can convenient. cook with these ingredients and it'll actually generate different recipes for you. Or you can even ask it for a recipe on a specific meal. Like let's say you were allergic to nuts or maybe mm. you wanted a vegan mac and cheese. So ChatGPT can turn into a lot of things, but it can also turn into a you. What? It is so wild that it can even do this, but let's just say you copied a message or email that you've written and headed to ChatGPT, you can ask it to analyze a message and learn to write like you. I've actually done that with my uh, emails for marketing and I've given it emails that I've written and I've, I've said, okay, I want, this is how I write, learn how I, how I write. And then I've given it other stuff and said, rewrite this like me. And it's pretty good. It'll ask you to paste in exactly what message or mail you've written so it can learn from it. And once you do, it's absolutely insane at what it picks up and how accurate it is. For example, I have a casual way of speaking. I like to use these words and mm. I have some humor in my writing. <laughs> not wrong. This is kind of like making an AI clone of yourself. And it's actually pretty useful, especially when you need ChatGPT to write and reply for you. People will literally think you wrote everything. And That's if that bad. doesn't blow your mind, then check this out. You can paste anything into ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite it in a person's style like Snoop Dogg for you. Yeah, you can also do it like if there's like a really like for me as a marketer, you can actually like say, write this email like I am, I don't know, Perry Belcher or someone, someone that's well known. And you can have it do it in their style. That's pretty cool. Example. This was honestly hilarious. And I also couldn't believe at how well it rewrote it in his style. Tales world all the way. But what's even better is you can assign personas to ChatGPT. And what's crazy is it'll give you better responses when it's in that character. You do just have to prompt ChatGPT to pretend to be the specific person. But then after that, every time you chat to hmm. it, it'll respond like that person would. Whether it's Snoop Dogg, Oprah Winfrey, or Abraham Lincoln, the options are honestly endless. And this I still am amazed at how it does all that. This can actually be so useful, especially when you need to ask ChatGPT for some advice. It's getting kind of scary. Like how smart is this thing gonna get? I mean, we're very, very early into this. What's this gonna look like in 20 years? So let's just say you needed some advice because your roommate kept stealing your bananas. Well, you can ask ChatGPT to help you out and somehow the advice it gives is so balanced and reasonable, it's as if you're talking to a professional. You I mean, could you get that advice like it's Snoop Dogg giving you the advice? You can literally ask it for any advice, like how to deal with a tricky situation or how to impress your in-laws or get a raise at work. Literally anything. Hmm. You can even ask it how to respond to something in tricky situations. Like if your boss or coworker sent you a nasty message, all you need to do is paste in the message they sent you, then ask ChatGPT for some help and advice. Are people going to start relying on this instead of like asking their friends? Like, is this going to be give us better advice? Like, think about it. If I'm going to drive somewhere, am I going to ask directions from like from my friend or am I just going to type in the address I want to go to into Google Maps? Like I'm going to use the AI 
it, to get where I want to go. And probably one of my favorite things is it'll even write a response for you. Neat. Scanning, okay. Now another amazing thing ChatGPT can do is actually scan images. So let's just say you I didn't know it could scan images. had a complex diagram or intricate chart, you could just copy the link to that image, go into ChatGPT and ask it to describe what is in this image. I love how she's still writing, please. Then just paste the link to it and in a couple of seconds, it'll explain and describe exactly mm. what is happening in this pic. I mean, that could be helpful for people that have uh, visual problems if they can't see it. You could just have it do that for you. And sometimes it does get the explanation completely wrong, mm. but if you do give it a bit more information, it should get it right on the second try. Quick tips. Now, another amazing thing you might not have thought to do with ChatGPT is actually ask it to plan out a holiday for you. It'll give you that's pretty cool. A day-to-day -day itinerary of things you can do while on your trip, and you can even ask it to get more specific and provide options for flights. Something else I actually really like using it for is movie and book recommendations. So, what if it's going to start being able to give you recommendations based upon maybe stuff that you like? Like, if you tell it that you like these movies, can you give me some movies that I would like based upon these movies that I really like? Because I mean, isn't that doesn't Netflix already do that though? You can ask it like, what were the top comedy movies in the 90s? Mm. It'll give you a list, just choose one, then sit back, relax and enjoy. Then something else I really like using it for is taking these super complicated formal agreements and making them more informal and actually understandable. Well, so again, you cool. just copy and paste the text, ask it to make it informal so that finally you can actually understand it. But now let's get our game on with ChatGPT because believe it or not, you can actually play games with it. I've, I've seen people design like Pong games with it, like little ping pong games. Okay, so if you open up ChatGPT and ask it what games you can play with it, it'll mm. give you a whole list of different options to choose from, but one of my favorite has got to be trivia. Are we ever going to be able to beat AI? I don't think we can beat it. And that is because if you use this prompt over here, you can play any trivia game you want with it. So I mean, if you wanted to, you could play tech trivia, movie trivia, or even something as crazy as cheese trivia. But you can take things to another level and ask ChatGPT to code a game for you, which you can then play in your browser. It does take a few... St Everyone's been doing this Pong one. I've seen this is like the third video I've seen of people that have, have had it code this ping pong game. This, this snake one though, this is the first time I've seen someone do snake. Steps to get this right, but you can ask ChatGPT the entire way on how to do this. But I mean, the fact that it can literally make a game from scratch is just, whoa. And if all that wasn't enough, you can even play text adventure games with it like Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I personally cool. don't play Dungeons and Dragons, but you gotta admit it's pretty crazy that it can make a completely original story for you from absolutely nothing. Better responses. Now, to get better responses, the best thing to do is to pretend as though you're talking to a real person. If you ask something simple like what's one plus one, you'll get a simple answer. But the more detailed you are in your questions, like why exactly does one plus one equal two, the more detailed and informative its responses. I mean, people are going to learn so much from this. Like, imagine if you just like dug into this, you had some topic that you were interested in, and you just kept on digging, digging, digging into it. Like, I don't know. I would I think I'd be smarter now if I had this when I was a kid. The second thing to do for better responses is always correct ChatGPT when you think it's made a mistake. I asked it who Hales World was and oh. let's just say it got it totally wrong. So as you go, the more you correct it, the more it can learn from its mistakes and hopefully just not make them again. Then also don't forget something else you can do is assign personas wherever you can. Because every ChatGPT personality you assign it can actually give you a different response. And the crazy thing is, don't ask me how some personalities even give you better responses than others that's weird make original content i mean we've been seeing a lot of people do like books and stuff and even publishing them on kindle and making money with that now if all that wasn't enough don't forget that chat gpt can create completely original content like write a song for you about aliens that make bad jokes create an instagram caption write your best man speech that you've only known for one week Imagine that. Like I, I wrote a best man speech a few years ago and it was hard to do. Now, what if I'd use this to kind of help me out with it? The options of content it can create for you are absolutely unlimited. And I mean, you could even take a job description with all its information, pop that into chat GPT and ask it to write a one page cover letter for you. So how are people going to know 
if like if someone's applying for a job and they're writing some kind of an application for it, how are we going to know when people are using ChatGPT or not? Like it's going to be a different level of kind of like cheating. But if you think about it, when it comes to content creation, the sky is the absolute limit. And believe it or not, I actually use ChatGPT to write this entire video. Is she joking? Because I'd actually believe it. I'm just kidding. I thought she was kidding, but it's actually believable. Like it could be. She might have written the outline with it, but that, that's believable. But most of it. Mm. So what do you guys think of this? Uh, which ones did you like? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like this video. It really helps out with my YouTube channel. And I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'm excited about AI. I'm going to keep talking about it on this channel as I really think it's something that's going to be in everyone's lives. Either it's already in our lives or it's going to keep on being in it. Uh, I'm excited. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Thanks.